So check it out, it's Trevor James, I am in Chennai, India. We're going for a full-on street food tour of the city. A lot of it is unplanned, I have a few ideas. We're just going to explore, see what we can find. Check it out. Chennai, India will blow you away as soon as you hit the street. It's home to a huge selection of southern Indian specialties and street foods. You can explore the city by foot and be in constant amazement of what's around the corner. With countless delicious foods and many friendly vendors to chat with, you will fall in love with India. One of the challenging parts of traveling to a new country is figuring out communication and respect with the locals. I'm just learning to do this here in India and it's weird how I've been using this accent without even knowing. Has that ever happened to you while traveling? I've decided to learn Hindi when I come back next year. This is the new frontier for food ranging. And if the banana man at the end made you smile, let me know below. Hello. What is this? Milk. 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 So can I try it please? How much? Uh, 10 rupees. 10 rupees, okay. So I think this is like milk from the cow that just gave birth. That's what I hear it is. Oh, thank you. And we, we have some samosas over here too. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's sweet. Very nice. <laughs> thank you. It's good. It's just like biting into a, into a jelly almost. Mmm. Um, Five please, please. Ah, oh, okay. Is that for me? Okay, thank you. <laughs> My first time. My first samosa. Number one. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, it's just so-so. It's really oily. That batter is really thick and the filling there isn't much in there. So that was mediocre. We're gonna keep seeing, we're gonna keep exploring, find some good stuff. Just walking by, found a little Indian sweet shop. There's so much stuff here. I don't know what a lot of it is. So we're gonna ask the server, see what we can get, try some of those flavors. What is, what is this here? It looks good. <laughs> is that yogurt? Uh, I ordered. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Do you know what is inside here? Do you know what is inside? Curd. Curd. Vegetables. Vegetables. Like uh, cauliflower maybe? Potato. Carrot. And, carrot. and carrot. So carrot, onion. curd, onion. carrot, onion, tomatoes, cilantro. Coriander. Coriander. And some, some crisps on top. There's so much in there. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. Let's try it out. Mmm, it tastes like, it's very sweet, tastes a little fruity and spicy at the same time. Like a little bit of a curry powder flavor. Yeah, chickpeas. And after that amazing sour and sweet chenna masala with yogurt, I found a man cooking up fresh tomato chutney on the street with an assortment of snacks to dip it in. So this is a, this is a fresh chutney that he's making. Let's try one of these. Can I try one? Oh, thank you. And uh, chutney. Can I try chutney? We're gonna get fresh chutney on it. Fresh from the walk. Thank you very much. Oh, so take a look at this. This is like a deep fried, looks like it's deep fried onions with some greens and I've got some fresh chutney here. Dip it right into that chutney. I've never tried this before. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. It's actually really nice. It tastes like deep fried dough, yet crispy on the outside. And the onions are a little sweet. They've got that caramelized flavor with a tomato chutney. Soon after, I made my way to a world famous biryani and curry house in Chennai, Talapakati. I am so excited right now because I am at a special biryani joint here in Chennai. And this is the day I've been looking forward to for the last 28 years. True, authentic Indian cuisine in Chennai. Let's go try it out. Oh, this is like the best day. Oh, that smell. Oh. oh, it's steaming. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, yes. Oh, mutton chop. Mutton chop. Thank you. So I have a full on Southern Indian feast here. I have a mutton stew right on the bone. Oh, and there's one more. 
There's one more. And prawn masala. Prawn masala. I, I'm honestly speechless. I don't know where to begin. Lamb brain omelet, like full of curry leaves. See those curry leaves in there? That looks good. Mmm. Tastes just like an omelet with lots of black pepper. And the brain is really, really smooth. It's not gross. This here is a chicken chetinade. That smell is just driving my mouth crazy. It's watering. This is a staple food. This is the mutton biryani. And that smell, I can smell cloves. I can smell cinnamon, cardamom. Oh, there's star anise in there. A bit of this roti chanai with chicken chetinade. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so, so hot. It's so good. So far, this is the meal that's made me realize South Indian food is the pinnacle of my lifelong food range and journey. The spiced packed mutton biryani rice, thick and spicy curries, fall off the bone mutton, and soft parota bread eaten by hand left me in another world and in a state of bliss. Mm. That's so good. And just by exploring the street, you'll find countless snacks and meals at stalls frequented by hungry and busy locals. So I'm at a local neighborhood here in Chennai, and one of the things I really want to try here is a puri, which is like a local Indian crisp. And they serve it with a chutney or a curry. One puri, please. One puri. Yes, please. Puri is a famous snack in India, usually accompanied with a light curry or dal. And here, they gave me two extra puri for free. Uh, chickpea curry. Tomato chutney. Tomato chutney. Tomato chutney. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the this is the purity. I'm gonna get it right. I'm just gonna get it right into that tomato chutney. Oh it's oh it's soft. Mmm. Oh very nice. Very good. Yeah. I like that tomato chutney. It's slightly slightly spicy. But it's kinda, it's, it kind of tastes like a vegetable stew with a little bit of spice. Where are you from? Canada. Canada. Mm. Chennai food is very good. Yeah, South Indian food. It's very nice. You from Chennai? Yeah. Yeah. This is good. My first time. This is my Trevor. And you? Nice to meet you. Listen. Yeah, come for, for food. I love I love the food here. Next, I stumbled on a delicious masala spice tea stall and made friends with a rickshaw driver and a fruit seller. I found the locals in India so friendly. Good, thank you. Where is your native place? Canada. 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 I come to Chennai to eat. Can I try uh, one uh, one masala tea, please? One masala tea, one ordinary. Oh, thank you. So we got the fresh masala tea. You put masala powder in the tea. Masala mixing. Masala mix it, mixing in the tea. Oh, my first time. I'd never tried masala tea before. Oh, very nice. You can taste like a little spice in there. A little bit. It tastes like a milk tea with a, just a touch of spice. I am auto, auto man. Oh, you're auto man? Yeah, my auto. Oh. Very good. Hey, hey, banana. Hey, hey. Oh, banana. Oh. Hey, banana. Oh, okay. 10 rupee, one banana. Hey, one plantain. One banana. banana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. A banana and tea. Hey. Banana loco. Ah, good food here. Good food. Good food. Good food down. Nalla food down. Nalla food. Nalla food down. Yeah, very very nice. Yeah. Masala tea. 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 Thank you. Hey. Why is that? Why drink that? Chamar. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Masala tea. Very good. I've been having a wonderful time here in Chennai. Thank you so much for watching my food and travel videos. Please leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is an awesome city. I'm, going, I'm moving on to Hyderabad next and we're going to try a lot more food. Thanks again. Please click that subscribe button now. 
Indian food has been off the hook, and Chennai has made me realize that I'm going to keep coming back here year after year for the rest of my life. This cuisine is simply amazing. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment down below. Thanks again.